Hello everyone, so I got a new Raspberry Pi 2 and the 7 inch touch screen for the Raspberry Pi so what I want to do is basically install Raspbian on it and have my calendar displayed on it in the kitchen and then also we should be able to use it with the touch screen to browse the web or check for recipes or whatever browse a movie, stream a movie or something over the network anyway Next, I want to do the OpenHab installation on there. That will come in a later video. So today, I just want to show you how to install Raspbian on your Pi, and then how to basically set it up with the touch screen. So the first step is you need to actually download Raspbian. So let's go to the raspberrypi.org website. So what I've done is I've inserted the SD card. I think it's an 8 gig that I got with it. I've set that into my computer as drive G so we can just double check that. Yes, and it's drive D. Okay. Now you want to go to raspberrypi.org, go to downloads. I'm doing this on Windows because I suppose most people will be doing this on Windows. You can also use Linux with a DD program to write the image to the SD card. So you have to write the image to the SD card, not do a simple copy. So here's official support operating systems. As you can see, noobs. So noobs basically boot up. You write this to your SD card, it boots up into the noobs little program, and you can choose in a menu what you want installed, which operating system. I'm looking for Raspbian because that's what's been I've been told I need to install Raspbian for the touchscreen to work. So just for interest sake, third party operating system images, so there's Ubuntu Mate that you can now install in your Raspberry Pi, Snappy Ubuntu Core, Windows 10 Internet of Things Core, OSMC, I think that's a yeah, open source media center. I saw something on YouTube about that. PyNet, a non Linux distribution called Risk OS and Open Elec. I'm running um Cody, all XPMC on my other Pi for streaming music and stuff like that over the network. So let's go to Raspbian. As you can see here, you can install it with noobs or download the image below and follow installation guide. So the installation guide, let's just open it just to show you. Okay, so here they say download the image, and then here you'll see. They've got guides for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So I'm doing it on Windows. I'm going to show the Windows version. So from this downloads tab on the raspberrypi.org website, you can just click on installation guide to get the instructions. So I want to install the latest and greatest. I'm going to go with Raspbian Jesse version of September 2015. It's currently end of September year. And the old Wheezy is May 2015. So I want to download this one. So I'm just going to download the zip file and let's just put it on the desktop and save. So I'm going to pause the video, wait for this to finish. Uh, it's 1.2 gigabytes. I'm probably going to run out of bandwidth and have to set up my router. But I'm going to pause here for now and then we can go ahead and install. Okie dokie, so I've downloaded the image let's find it there we go let's extract it here it's not extracted on my desktop let's wait for that to finish okay so there's our image so what we want to do is you go I'll post the link to the Windows application called Win32 Disk Imager. You can download that and extract the zip file and it will look like this when you've finished extracting. You can see and you just open Win32 Disk Imager. Now you, what you want to do is you want to browse to the image which is on my desktop. Say open. There we go. And we want to move it to G, so let's make sure G is the one. Yes, G. And you say right. 
it will prompt you and saying writing to physical device can corrupt the device are you sure want to continue yes you on right as you can see this takes quite a while I've paused the video I'm on 86% so be patient let it write to the SD card and we will be there soon great stuff so the write has been successful let's close all this and let's go check where's G as you can see there's all the files so what you do now I'll show you on the next video when I take out the handheld camera is put your SD card into your Raspberry Pi connect it up to a monitor and a keyboard and booting it up okay guys I'm gonna try this might be a bit uh, funny but here's the Pi so what I've done now is I've inserted the SD card where we installed Raspbian on and I've also attached a wireless dongle for the keyboard and mouse so what we're going to do now is attach the HDMI cable here and now on the monitor I need to set the correct if I can remember how to do this input To the Pi menu, yes. HDMI one. I'm not sure if it was HDMI one. Let's see. So let's power up the Pi so we can get a signal through there. So I'm powering up the Pi. Yeah. As you can see, it's powering up. Might be a bit dark, looks dark on the LCD, I'm not too sure if it's too dark guys. So let's just choose our input. And let's see. Come on, I'm not sure if I'm on HDMI 1 or not. Could well be, because it hasn't gone back to the previous screen. There we go. So as you can see, there's, there it's booted up into Raspbian. Oh, good. So, I've booted up into Raspbian. Mouse is a bit slow. Let me just come back a little bit so you can see the screen there. So I don't have a table here, so I'm going to have to put it back a bit forward. So Raspbian is installed, it's booted up. So what I'm going to do next is just um, attach the Wi Fi dongle and then configure that to get on the network, do an update, and I'll show you the update. But basically it's just a sudo up, app get update and a sudo app get up dash up upgrade and that will have the latest ROS being installed. I'll have that in the notes as well. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I've got this Wi-Fi Wi-Fi dongle. I can add that to the Pi. So I'm gonna disconnect the power. Add the Wi Fi in now. As you can see, that's connected, so I want to set up the Wi Fi. So it's going to boot up the Pi again. So. Okay, so apparently the driver is already installed, but there's no scanning feature. So, so what you want to do is you can either go click here on terminal or control alt. Just control alt T. Okay, so the terminal is open. Let me see if I can get it a bit better for you guys to view. 
There we go. So what we want to do is type in sudo nano forward slash etc or etsy forward slash network forward slash interfaces. There we go. So as you can see here's our configuration. So what we are looking for is WLAN 0, which is this. Now I'm just going to see the documentation. We need to add some, some lines after this. So I face WLAN zero INET must be DHCP. So in DHCP. Then we want to do this wireless dash. ESSID which will be my SSID and then wireless dash key and that's where you put the password for the key so then I'm going to save this obviously I'm not going to show you my password so I'll be back now Okay guys, so I found my problem, my config was incorrect. I used the wireless-essid and wireless-key instead of wpa-ssid and wpa-bsk for the password for my wireless network. After changing that, restarting the network, it uh, came back online. As you can see, I was able to ping and I'm able to open internet. So. Next is to shut down the Pi and actually attach it to the monitor now that I'm able to connect to the internet I'll be able to do an upgrade I'll quickly do that to show you what we want to do is sudo apt get update let that run Okay, cool. So, sudo the update, apt get update was done. Now we're going to do a sudo space apt dash get space upgrade to upgrade the OS. Enter. Building dependencies, calculating, and it's going to say three upgraded. Uh, need to get 257 kilobytes of archives. Yes, please. Enter. Reading the database now. And it's unpacking everything, installing the updated packages. Just waiting for that to finish, and then I'm going to shut down the Pi, and then there we go. So that's done. So I'm going to shut down the Pi, and now we are going to attach it to the screen.